So your Twitter usage has been fun. I pulled a couple of old ones that I wanted to bring up. January 2nd, 2017, not too long ago, outside of Warren Seafood Restaurant in Kittery, Maine. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, hashtag lobster anyone. Uh, being back in the Northeast, Ottawa, of course, outside of Montreal, yeah. closest you can get to being back somewhere near home, New Hampshire, otherwise being in Maine, I just love lobster anyone. The whole sense of being back in this corner of the universe must be a nice feeling for you. Oh yeah, certainly. And uh, I actually went to Warren's like three days ago with my family, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, I, I'm a Northeast person. I really enjoy New Hampshire and Maine and that area. And you know, one of my first coaching jobs at the University of New Hampshire and living downtown in Portsmouth. So, you know, anytime you get an opportunity to go back, you like to go back. Another one for you here, October 19th, 2016. We need a full and loud house for the Ottawa game, which I thought was interesting. Of course, when you're with the Bombers, uh, make sure you are going, buy tickets if you haven't. I have a new special play for the game. Uh, I love this because I can't remember, Paul, a coach ever saying, hey, I got something for you. Make sure you're in the seats. I love that though. Yeah, I think that sounds <laughs> like that's a Bomber one. That sounds like I got somebody at the Bombers. Hey, can you tweet out, yeah. bring everybody in to your people? Because I don't know that, that, I don't really envision myself saying I have a new special play for the game. Say, That's more of a joke, I guess. But would, uh, would you design a special play to draw people to a game? Because that level of interaction is awesome. Probably not. Like, <laughs> we get enough special plays from a week-to-week -week basis, right? Next one up for you. March 13, 2015, found my high-tech football computer from 1995. Some interesting things I found in it. Uh, the picture that accompanies this. I don't even know what that computer is. Do you remember what that computer is? It's a PowerBook 160. Okay. And, and obviously I'm in the TSN world because I have a lot of time <laughs> on my hands that I'm going back and opening it up. But yeah, uh, it would have had all my uh, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute game plans and all the, all the stuff I did before I went to Canada. Yeah. Next one for you here. August 15th, 2016, halfway through the first quarter, Lake of the Woods 14, Bomber Football Office. Zero. You're on a bye week, a beautiful picture of a lake. Uh, getting away, I think, is an important part of taking on a role like you just have. That's probably something that you've taken from your time being a head coach earlier as well, right? Is that life-work balance? Yeah, you know, I, I think the first part is is coaches work long hours uh, and they're dedicated. And you know, when you're in season, you don't, you can't focus on anything but football. Um, so I think it's important as a head coach, and I think it, as an assistant, you're always trying to make sure when you have time off, get your get your coaches, get your players away from the building so they can refresh, recharge. Because as coaches, you're still always kind of doing some football, but you know, to get the family out to another spot is always something you need to make sure you do because the hours are so long. What is the ideal Paul Lapolese? You have three days, whether it's off season, bye week, otherwise, and you say to yourself, I just need to do a little bit of me time. What does that look like? Uh, I guess it's just hanging out with the family, right? And being able to, you know, if you get a bye week, kind of relax, catch up on some of the things you haven't been able to do. But, you know, maybe take the kids to a movie and have dinner and stuff like that. It's real important, you know, we always talk with our players, is understand the most important thing for your kids and your spouses, you can show your support to them is give them time, right? You give, do the most you can to, when you have time off, give them your time. 